Yes, sir. What up, everybody? It's your girl, Ray. And today, we're going to talk about my favorite brand when it comes to shorts. Now, this brand in particular is based out in the Bay Area. Shout out to the Bay. The brand that I'm talking about is Sago Studios. They release mainly shorts, but they do have an array of hoodies, shirts, pants, sweatpants, you name it. They even have sunglasses. The main thing that I purchased from this brand are shorts. Here are a look at some of the shorts that I'm talking about. These shorts come in a variety of different colors. I believe this week they're releasing a mocha pair and a pink pair, which is going to be lit. I really want the mocha pair, but I gotta size down my spending a little bit because I've been buying shorts like it's nonstop. But that's neither here nor there. But I do own four pairs of Sago Studios shorts. If you're a Niners fan and you keep up with Debo Samuel, he happens to wear their shorts sometimes. I think in the future they might do a deal. I'm not sure. Do not hold me on that. But they might have a collaboration in the future. Ja Morant is also a person that has dabbled into the Sago Studios field and has been wearing some of their gear as well. Now they've recently started releasing version 2s of their shorts, which is not really too different. The only difference is the drawstring. As you can see on OG pairs of shorts, they have a white drawstring, a thin drawstring with plastic tips. And for their newer shorts, they're going to have these rope drawstrings with metal tips. So there's a little upgrade for the new ones. So from here on out, all new shorts will have a metallic or metal tip as well as that rope drawstring. So if you do want to make them short, short hoochie daddy shorts, then you can do that. Now for me, I am 5'7". These shorts fit a little bit above the knee. I do not like my shorts below the knee anymore. I used to when I used to ball. As I got older, I do not like shorts going below the knee. It makes me look flooded. Now, like most typical basketball shorts, the drawstrings are on the inside of the shorts. So if you do want to use that on the outside, you do have to flip the top part of it so you can tighten it. Um, like I said, that'll give you that Hoochie Daddy shorts vibe if you want that. If you want some regular fitted above the knee shorts, mind you, I'm 5'7". So they'll still be short for people that are 6 foot. But um, yeah, you don't have to necessarily roll it up. But if you really, really want to make it tighter on your lower half, then by all means. Now, like I said in my previous video, I said I was going to do a video on these shorts because I know a lot of people have been asking about them. As well as another brand called Bravest Studios. Um, if you've seen me in some Dior shorts, they come from Bravest Studio. They are not allowed to make those shorts anymore, so those shorts are now discontinued. But you may be able to find them on Grailed or probably eBay of some sort, so you might be able to find them there. So these shorts come in a variety of different prints. I want to say they have three or four different prints at the moment. Um, so you have the OG print like that looks like this. It has Sago on the bottom right of the shorts and a giant you have the the s logo going around on the bottom of it so that's what the original print looks like for the original type shorts they have another print that i have that has sago on the bottom so it'll just be right above the knee that says sago with the 94 or 93 over 94 on the right or left leg um not quite sure what that means. I want to say it's the year that the owners of this company were born. Could be wrong, but that's just my guess. It's been my guess ever since I've seen it. Um, there could be another backstory behind it. Maybe there's something I'm um, forgetting, but that's just what I assume, which is a nice touch. But yeah, Sago Studios is the brand of my favorite shorts. Um, I mean, they fit like any other kind of shorts. So if you want to know about sizing, just go with the sizing that you would wear normally for shorts. Um, so if you're a large, get a large. If you're a medium, get a medium. There's nothing different about that. Um, they have already have a natural higher cut, so they will be a little bit shorter than your average basketball shorts, which is nice. It fits in with the trend. It fits in with the style these days. Um, for me, it just fits into what I've always liked when it comes to basketball shorts. So yeah, these will be with me forever. Um, I can tell you that much because I'm not wearing any shorts below my knees, and if anything, I'll buy more in the future. So um they are 100 percent polyester you can machine wash them i typically machine wash them on like warm or cold and then i let them air dry i really don't have to do that but that's typically what i do i air dry them as well as the t-shirts like this one um i air dry all my print graphic tees i air dry all my more expensive shorts 
So that's just how I wash these shorts. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Um, it helps this channel tremendously when you hit that like button, when you comment, when you engage with these videos. We have 135 subscribers. We're on the road to 150. So let's try to hit that milestone. I want to hit that before the end of this year. Um, I thank each and every one of y'all so, so much for watching. Salute.